Hello everyone! Continuing from the first topic of class 6, chapter 1, knowing our numbers, we are back with the second topic. Let's start right away. The second topic of this chapter is units and conversion. Let's begin. In the first video, we have learned that number is something that we need to count. But number alone cannot define or measure a quantity completely. For example, let's take time, length and money. We say 10 hours for time, 10 meters for length and 10 rupees for money. Can we only say 10, 10, 10 for each of them? No, because in that case we would not know which 10 is time, which is length and which is money. So, to measure a quantity we need number and we need something else to identify which quantity that number is for. That something is called unit. So, to measure a quantity correctly, we need a number and a unit. Now let's have a look at units of money, time, length, mass and capacity. Money describes how much currency. Units of money are pese and rupee. Time describes how long it takes to do something. Units of time are second, minute, hour, day, week, month and year. Length describes how long something is. Units of length are millimeter, centimeter, meter, kilometer. Mass describes how heavy something is. Units of mass are milligram, gram and kilogram. Capacity describes how much liquid a container can hold. Units of capacity are milliliter, liter and kiloliter. In brackets, the symbol of each unit is written. Now, let's talk about conversion of units. To understand conversion, we must first understand why we need so many units. For example, let's take length. Now, length can be very small or very large. We can say by common sense that we will require a small number to represent length 1 and a large number to represent length 2. And because of a large number, it would not be easy to write. Hence, we express different lengths using different units. So different units are required to easily imagine and express all kinds of a quantity, small, medium, large, very large. Now, if we write same quantity in different units, we have to use different numbers. This is called conversion of units. For example, one hour is equal to 60 minutes. Your time is same but written in different units, hour and minute. Number used with R is 1 and number used with minute is 60. Smaller unit will require a bigger number and bigger unit will require a smaller number. So R is a bigger unit than minute. Now let's see conversion of different units. In this table we have written the units from smaller to bigger. 1 rupee is equal to 100 pese. 1 year is equal to 365 days. 1 day is equal to 24 hours, 1 hour is equal to 60 minutes, 1 minute is equal to 60 seconds. Similarly, we can see conversion for length, mass and capacity. Remember that kilo means 1000 times bigger and milli means 1000 times smaller. Centi means 100 times smaller. Let's take a simple example to understand how we use units. A boy Scooby walks 2 km in the morning and 500 m in the evening. How much in total does he walk? Now units are different and so we cannot say that answer is 2 plus 500 equal to 502 because we do not know if it is 502 km or 502 m. What do we do now? We should convert both lengths into same unit. We can convert 500 meter into kilometer, but it will involve decimals, which we will study later. Hence, let us convert 2 kilometer into meter. 2 kilometer is equal to 2 into 1000 meter, that is 2000 meter. Now, total length is equal to 2000 meter plus 500 meter, that is 2500 meter. Remember, we can only add or subtract numbers in same unit. There are three more videos in this chapter. To watch them, subscribe to our channel and you will be notified. Oh, and to learn the first topic, natural numbers, click the first video link on the screen. We have also started algebra for class 7.
click the second link on the screen to watch the video on algebraic expressions and its terms. Do like the video and help us improve by providing your feedback in the comments. Thank you.